Hi everyone and welcome to Advanced Installer YouTube channel. In this video, I'll show you how to create an installer for a Windows service. For this tutorial, you'll need the Advanced Installer extension for Visual Studio, which is available on the Visual Studio Marketplace. I've already set up a Windows service that creates a TXT file when it starts and deletes the file when it stops. The next step is to create the installer project. To do this, right-click on the solution, then choose Add New Project. From the list of templates, select the Advanced Installer Project template. Set a name for the project and click the Create button. Every Advanced Installer project includes a viewer for quick editing of basic installer information. To access it, select the IP file from the Solution Explorer. In the viewer, you can edit the product details, set install parameters or add launch conditions. Next, we need to add the project output, which can be done from the Files and Folders tab. Once added, open the project in Advanced Installer. Navigate to the Services tab and be aware that this feature is available only for professional projects or higher. So first, upgrade your project and then go back again to the Services tab. Click on the New Service Toolbar button and choose the file containing the service. Let's set a name for the service and provide a description. Now save the project and exit. When you return to Visual Studio, you'll be prompted to reload the Advanced Installer project files, which will reflect all your modifications. The final step is to build the Advanced Installer project. After build, run the installer package. Now, let's see if the service has been installed. This is our service which is running, so the txt file should have been created. Let's check this. As you can see, the file has been created. Let's stop the service now. The file has been deleted. Let's start the service again and, as you can see, the file is created again. For more guides and tutorials, check out the Advanced Installer YouTube channel or the Advanced Installer blog.